What is up guys? It is Bloodzealous. Welcome back to another house tutorial. I just got shaders installed on my new computer. This is gonna be the first building video with the beautiful shaders. Um, and today we're doing a modern restaurant. Now I was just hanging out with a friend and uh, she wanted me to help her build something and I just kind of started building and ended up with this nice this nice modern restaurant design. And really it could be a modern house too. It's just a modern building, but it's kind of like a restaurant um, feel. So we're gonna get right into this, I guess. Um, I have cyan, cyan stained clay, which is just gray. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, block of quartz. We have quartz half slabs, quartz stairs, stained glass, and gray stained glass. Um, now the one thing is I did just build this today, but I've also only built it once. So I'm probably not gonna know what I'm doing entirely. So if I cut a few times, do not worry. I'm gonna have to cut often because I have all my screenshots, but I don't really have, um, I don't really have, you know, this all memorized or anything. So just bear with me as I, as I struggle to build this. So we're gonna start with something like this. We got three by three, three by three. There's a gap two and there's that. That's gonna be the entryway. We're gonna throw some slabs down in there. Oh, I just love these shaders. They're so nice. I like this computer, man. Um, for now, we'll just put some marble down here. That's gonna be our doors. This will be a pathway going out and this will be the inside. So let's just, oh boy, let's just break all this out a little bit, kind of like that. And uh, this is a really, just a really nice looking building. Um, and I know shaders is kind of cheating. It makes everything look nice, but no, this is a very, very pretty building. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use iron doors in here because iron doors will allow us to, um, will allow us to, you know, make it look a little more modern. Cause a lot of times, a lot of times wooden doors just don't fit with something like this. This is supposed to be like inner city kind of restaurant type style. So you got something like that. That is your start. Let's go ahead and we're gonna make a marble pillar right about here. It's gonna go one, two, three, and four like that. All right, we're gonna make another pillar. It's one, two, three, one, two, and three, like so. And we're gonna take our gray stained glass and that's gonna come all the way across this and it's gonna come down like that and like that. All righty. Very nice. Now we're gonna take another marble pillar up right here and that's gonna go up to the height of the first one. This can be made marble, just like so. Um, and then we're gonna do the same right here. We're gonna have another window in between right there. And lastly, we'll have a pillar right here. Oopsies, is that right? Is that, oh, that'll be our pillar. Just leave that there. Okay, good job. We're gonna put the window right there. Lovely. And you can go ahead and take your quartz half slabs and top it off like this. So this is part of the front and it is looking lovely. By the way, guys, if you like the shaders, drop a like because it costs me a lot of money actually to upgrade this computer and likes are a good way to get that motivation back so I can keep it all going and uh, yeah. But anyways, this is gonna be a nice building. I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna enjoy this. I do have the daylight cycle turned off so it's not really changing a whole lot, um, but you'll see, you'll see. All right, let's go ahead and um, actually we're gonna bring up a, another cyan stained clay pillar going this way and um that's gonna eventually come out back this way but i'm not quite sure how far again screenshot issues so let me go ahead and cut here that's as much as i know how to build off the top of my head and uh let's get it going all right so it would appear i did a pretty poor job screenshotting this side so i may make a mistake here but for now i do know kind of what i'm doing so you're gonna go ahead and drop that in there and let's just make a base here so we're gonna go one two three four and five out like this bring that out this is going to be another wall of our our lovely building and we're going to put upside down stairs here this is actually going to be a window this is kind of like the the one of the one of the sitting rooms for this restaurant that's going to go across like that and then we're going to have right side upstairs on the top going like this all right and we're going to have to turn the corner here but again i'm not quite sure how far um so that was actually all i can do on that lovely screenshot <laughs> Good job. Good job, Zealous. Let me cut one more time. Awesome. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn the corner and we're going to go one and we're going to go two, just like that. And we're going to place our windows here and of course get our marble down here. So this is a nice modern design, having a window that goes around the corner. I like that. I think that looks good. And then we're going to have two marble pillars here that are just going to come up like that. All right, then we're going to go ahead and this is going to go through here just to add a little bit of shape. Um, this isn't anything structurally important. And it's going to go like that, just like that. All right. And then the roof of this section is kind of cool. This is actually what really makes the section cool. The roof is going to go across the top like this. And then it's going to come out one. So it's going to go like that. And then it's going to come around. Oh, dear. It's going to come around like this. And it's going to come around like this, like that. All right. And it's going to meet up 
with this right there. Oh, that glare, man, that glare. So you're gonna have something looking a little bit like that. All right, so that is how this corner goes together. Very beautifully like that. We can go ahead and fill the roof in on the inside too, just to make sure that is done with and beautiful. And I will be doing the interior on this house just because it's a restaurant, so we might as well do some restaurant-like themes. So let's go ahead and do that much there. And we'll get on to this backside. So the backside's gonna start with a pillar coming up here three high that's gonna be right in the middle of this, this nice rectangle we made here. And then it's going to come up here as well, like so. And this is just gonna be a wall. We're actually not gonna have any windows here. When I originally built it on the server, there was a kind of like a mountain and some trees here, so there wasn't actually anything to work with. So that is why that's there. You could throw in a window. I'm still not gonna have any just because I'm trying to get away from using windows and everything. Um, but we're gonna go and finish off the roof like that and you can probably connect it like that too. Yeah, okay. So now what we have to do is this wall here and this is actually gonna be like the kitchen. Then what we're gonna do is this wall and then this wall and that'll be another dining area and then we are done with the external so i will be right back okay this back wall here is going to come out whoopsies one two and three just like that pretty simple and we're gonna have a pillar coming up there right here and then i did this kind of design it's not really a window it's just a slit when i think of kitchens for some reason i picture i picture you know the back of the kitchen you know where they throw out the trash having like a slit kind of look through I don't know it's just something it's just an image kind of stuck in my head so I figured that was um that was right now I actually just realized we did that in the wrong spot nice going we're actually gonna bring this wall out one more and the kitchen's gonna come off that so one two and three like that sorry about that put the slit here you'll know you did it right because this piece here should come down right here and it should be one block in front of your kitchen window and I know that's off center um, but when we decorate with bushes it will all be better all right, now we get to go ahead and do this wall here. It's gonna be one, let me count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now let me go ahead and uh, fill that in off camera and we'll be right back. So this wall, I didn't say it in the last clip, is actually gonna be four high. I know these were three high. Just wanna clarify on that before we get over here. Now I went ahead and laid this out. This is gonna come out from this wall, three blocks, so one, two, three gonna turn the corner this is gonna be four blocks so we got one two three and four pillar one two and then two pillars now these are of course gonna be windows but here's the fun thing about this corner window this corner window is gonna be pretty big it's actually gonna be five high okay or four high four high and again like the window over there it's gonna turn the corner so go ahead and just fill that in and you can also while you're at it fill this window in which will be the same height of four all right so go and do that and then we're almost done with the exterior when you're done with that, you should have something that looks like this. Pretty simple. Now what you can do is um, you can go ahead and let's just line the top of all of this first. Just to clean it up a little bit, this is what we'll, we'll, we'll start to put the build together. And the roof is actually pretty simple, so you can probably figure it out by now. Um, we're just going to line it up like that, and we're going to go ahead and uh, then fill it in. We'll do that off camera, but I do have one more step to show before that. So you're going to fill in the roof all the way across here, blah, blah, blah. Pretty simple. Um, but then in this corner, we needed a little more cyan color so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build out like this and this is gonna go up to a height of about there and it's just gonna come up like this and like this all right so you should have a two pillars here and then you have your windows and then on the other side you should have one pillar and then your windows and actually this is different than the original build the original build only had one pillar here because I think I changed something up but it's okay for 99% of the build it is still the exact same so what you're gonna do now is uh, fill in your roof and uh, then I'll show you the floor design. Now the easiest way to show how to do the floor is first to build this counter because this kind of divides the room up and the idea was that this is sort of the kitchen area. So how you're gonna count that is you're gonna come to this corner, you're gonna leave one space, that's gonna be the way in, then we have one, two, three, four stairs, a block, and then we're gonna have two stairs on this side. Make sure to put marble under them or some other block just to close it off um, and make it look all right. Now the kitchen, kind of industrial, right? That's how kitchens usually are. So our kitchen is going to have uh, a stone floor and that is just gonna go in like that and then we're gonna grab ourselves a trap door here um, what do we not need we don't need these anymore I'm gonna grab a trap door you can just drop that right there so that's your kind of kitchen thing now let's go and uh, figure out how we're gonna do this on the inside what I did is I had a pillar come up here whoopsies like that as well as here so we have an entryway here and then we have our upside down quartz like so this is gonna be divided off using um, using actually nothing. It's not going to be divided. What we're going to do is grab some red stained clay right here. This is kind of the lobby. Oopsies, that's not even red. Okay. 
That's not red either. What am I doing? Okay, this is the lobby, and that's like blood red, but that's what we want. This middle area here, this is the lobby of our house. Or not our house, our restaurant. We got the nice red floor. Posh, velvety, looks kind of nice. And that's going to go up until the very corner here. And that's going to come across like this. And we're going to have a divider that's going to be made out of cyan wool. Now this here, this is kind of one of your seating areas. Um, and what we're going to do here, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a checkered white and black pattern. So I would suggest using marble for your white but then using uh, black wool for your black, that'll give you kind of an, whoopsies, that'll give you kind of a nice amount of texture variation. So quite simple, white, black, I did that wrong, <laughs> black, white, um, and just checkerboard this whole section, fill this whole section with red, and do the same checkerboard this section. So let me cut, I just burped, and uh, I'll do that off camera, and we'll be right back. Awesome, your floor should look something like this if you did it right, and one thing I realized is it would probably be okay to put a divider in here as well since we did it on the other side um, and we could even put one there since we kind of have been dividing all of our floors although that one doesn't seem as necessary but just because we can we'll do it so let's get that back there what we're gonna do is have a table whoopsies we're gonna have a table right hmm, here and we're gonna have a table right here JK right here JK I don't know I don't know guys where are we gonna put the table I don't know um, we're gonna move this over we'll have a table right there and we'll have a table right here Tables are going to be simple, piston tables. I love piston tables, you know. And actually, they do create a little bit of light. I didn't even realize that. Um, and then we can do our chair and chair. And obviously, this is Minecraft. A real restaurant would probably have a lot more for seating. Um, this is not a lot of seating. But at the same time, you know, you know, might as well, right? Might as well get as much as we can fit in here. So we have something like that for that seating area. Um, I think on the original build I had like a bar here, you know, with the, um, the lovely, lovely thingies, the fences, but I'm not going to do that this time. You all know how to make a refrigerator and stuff, I don't even know if I should bother with the kitchen. And in here you can do, in here it would make more sense to have a bar, let's make like a wooden bar. So the bar will just go kind of like this, and then we'll have the trap door there. Just a really, really small thing, and then we'll grab some fences, I haven't even, I didn't do this in the original build, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of going, um, on my own here, just making this up. And it'll go across like that. So we'll have a little bar here, and we can even, we can even put, uh, I don't know. They do, I know how to, I don't really know how to make bar stools. I've seen, I've seen it done. I think it takes more space than this. Um, but I saw it on an SG map. SG maps, guys, are great places actually to learn building. Um, because a lot of the builders who do those are just really good, good builders. Um, and you can learn a lot from those. So if you're ever looking for building ideas, check out an SG map. That's too many of those. So we'll just use um, signs again. And I like signs because, you know, signs are signs are one way to get this done. And this might have worked well, too, if we had used um, marble instead of wood, but I don't want to go back and fix that. So we're just going to go with that. Now, for lighting in here, we're going to have um, redstone lamps because it's modern again, and I don't think glowstone. I hate glowstone, personally. I'm not a fan of glowstone. So if you like glowstone, that's fine, but I just don't think it looks good pretty much anywhere. Um, what we can do is actually put a pillar right there. And we'll just bring that across. Oh, that was supposed to go across a while ago, actually. Um, I think, yeah, something like that. Now you can do, like, a bush in there, or you can do um, upside down, anything you really want. Let's go ahead, though, and grab some paintings, just to add a little bit. Again, I am not an interior decorator by any shot. There are some people who are so good with the interiors that it just amazes me. And then there's me, and I'm just mediocre at best on the inside. So, you are completely free to do your own interior decoration, because following mine is not necessarily the the best. I am not the person to ask when it comes to interior decorating. But we have something simple like that. It's not bad. I think it'll do. Um, but the outside, the outside's a little bit of fun. So let's head outside and just see what we can do here. I think in the original one we need our bushes. And I want to try something. I haven't done too much experimentation yet. But if we turn our graphics to fancy, yeah, we can still hit 30 FPS. Okay, so we might as well do that. We're just going to put a pile of bushes right there. We're going to dig out a little bit of a moat here. We can have some more bushes kind of coming out here. Like that. This is going to be filled in with marble, and we're going to have water here. Now, this is something, if you were building a modern restaurant in, like, a city kind of scene, you probably want to leave it how it was before we started this. This is almost more if you're using this as a house, um, because in a city, you're probably not going to have something like this. This is more house-like. But there you go. We'll just add a little bit of water. We can always get some bushes. Um, we definitely use some there. And I think over here I had the same water thing going, so we'll go ahead and do that right here, like so, and get the water going, just like that. And then we can have our bushes coming out, 
Just looking beautiful, as always. Very nice job. And, um, yeah, you just feel free to put bushes wherever you want, guys. That's how you make good buildings. Honestly, just put bushes in places. Uh, you can do water on that side, too, if you want, but that's completely up to you. And then let's go ahead and we'll take out the bone meal, because the bone meal is what I like to do. Um, bone meal is just my best friend. Some builders don't like bone meal. They think it's ugly. I think the grass maybe is not the best, but at the same time, I am completely okay with it. You can throw things in the back. Depending on where your restaurant is, you might want to put something in the back just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, and we could even go ahead and put a tree out front. And now this is almost more of a house. So once you get into this kind of stuff, you might be just doing a house. But, oh dear. But we're still going to do it anyways, just to show you kind of, just to give you some inspiration. So let's put a tree right about here. We'll just grow that up. Look at that. All right. So that, guys, was a tutorial on a modern restaurant. It's only really a restaurant because of the interior. And the other thing that made me want to call it a restaurant was this window over here. Um, a lot of times modern restaurants will have these big windows kind of hanging out just everywhere. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm going to try one thing here while I close the video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like. It really does keep me motivated. If you like the shaders and think that's going to add to the builds as well, drop a like. Leave a comment with other suggestions for buildings. Anything you got, I will take it. Um, that, that is nice. I like that. I'm okay with that. If you like that, you can add that too. I think what I'm going to do is do all my builds in this world. So we'll have like a giant save file of all of my builds. Kind of like what Corrales does. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, again, drop a like, leave a comment. Tell me it was beautiful. Tell me it sucked. And I will see you. Hold on. Got to get in, in closing position here. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.